everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas. I've put down my base coat, which is Artist Love Flow Acrylic White, plus a little dab of Montmartre Mid Yellow, just to give it this very, very light yellow color. Sometimes I like to use a, a light color instead of just the white. Let's go over the rest of my paints. This pretty color, I have used it in a couple other pours. It's a, a homemade color I made. It's gold with a little blob of dark violet and phalo blue. The rest of my colors are King Art, um, Viridian, King Art, Red Ochre, and King Art, Payne's Gray using up some of my little paints here today. And my last two colors are Montmartre, the mid yellow. I am using that full strength in the painting and Montmartre Vermilion. My pouring medium today, I did use the mix, seven part mix to one part paint. I did thin it down a little bit uh, with about three drops of water and I will show you that. And today I'm just going to do a simple flip cup. We're going to call it Flip Cup Friday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera off, layer my cup, and then I will come back and we'll get ready to paint. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've got my two cups layered. I had one layer of each color in each cup. And this cup, I started at the bottom, the lightest to the darkest, and I did the opposite here. I started the darkest to the lightest. So let's just flip our cups here. And I think I will flip them and go on the length, the length way here. And I am going to find, going to poke them here. Poke them a couple times to help that paint go down. And I do have um, extra base coat left over. I did not add any silicone in my paints today. I did not mention that, but uh, no silicone added. Just the pouring medium to mix. So. I think I'll just take it down and just, well, I meant to burp it as I go, but I didn't do too good at that, did I? I think I'll lip it. I'll lip it through that too. Put some in the corner. Okay, and here's the other cup. And I will lip it through that one too. Just to give the eye a little extra to look at. And put some on the corners again. And I think I will add just a little bit of paint down at the bottom or in the middle here. Just a little bit extra paint to help it move. Although I do think I have plenty of paint for this canvas, this 12 by 16 inch canvas. Okay, and I'm going to torch it here. Looks like I am getting some cells coming up. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do is probably just tip it down. I know what I'll get. Get a little piece of cardboard here. So I'm going to tip it down and then I'll just pull it back up. Pull that paint right back up again. Just like that. 
so I don't lose any. And I'll try that again. I'll move some more. Move it over a little bit. And pull it back. Okay. And let's try that at the other end also. I just saved uh, the little uh, cardboard pieces that come with the canvases. They do come in handy. So let's tip it this way. Then tip it back. And it also gives you a little bit, a little bit more um, for the eye to look at when you do that. That's looking very nice. I think I am going to add a little bit more of this yellow paint here. Just to help our paint move. Oops, keep dripping it on my painting here. And what I will do with that is I will just take my little stick and I will draw it down and draw it up. Okay. All right, let's do some tipping from side to side here. I'm gonna get that corner there, bring it back. Well, I'm gonna get a little bit better than that. Okay, bring it back. Wow, I'm just really loving these colors. And I'm going to add a little bit more of this light yellow over in this area. When I come back, I can tip it again there just to help that paint move. Okay, and let's tip it this way. Try and get that corner, that far corner there. And I'll bring that back. Okay, I'm just going to take a look at what I have here. Fix up my corner. I actually do not mind having negative space there. These colors are just beautiful and I really don't want to lose anything. I'll tip down just a little bit here. And 
and tip it back. Okay, I'm going to take a look at it now. And fix up this corner here. And I am going to turn it so I can just work on this corner a little bit over here. I do have some paint left and I think what I'm going to do is, let's see if I have some in my cup. That might even be better. Looks like I have some left in my cup. So let's just see what I can do with it here. I'll start it off of the painting. Let's try that again. Okay, I'm just going to tip it a little bit down this way, just to incorporate those two little lines that I made. Okay, and bring it back. That looks very nice there now. And I'm just working on composition here. And I do like that corner also. Just gonna leave that one just like it is. And I'm going to give it a torch. I just, this just looks like mountains and just beautiful. Okay. I'm going to clean off the bottom here a little bit. and fix this little corner up here with matching paint. Just add a little paint right here on this corner. Fix it up a little bit. Okay, I think it looks great, and I'm going to get you down for a close-up. These colors are just beautiful together. And again, this is a 12 by 16 inch canvas that I just did a flip cup on, and we called it Flip Cup Friday. Here's the upper left-hand corner where I added those couple of stripes there. This is down the left-hand side. Just beautiful, beautiful colors, as you can see. And I'll take you up the middle. This orange, very, very pretty. With the dark blue. Very nice. This is probably my favorite spot right in here. With all these very beautiful colors. 
This is just, just pretty. And this is down the right hand side. And I'm really glad I added that red ochre. It, it looks like a rusty color in there. Pretty in here too. I left some negative space there too. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. It'd be great if you shared it with your friends. Uh, make sure you ring the bell. Choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And until next time, take care, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.